I go home and uh, I kind of get excited again. I was like, I was watching Friends. I was like feeling in a happy place. I was like, you know what? I'm going to have sex with this girl. So I call her up and nobody answers. And I was like, damn it. So I was like, yeah, whatever. I'll watch porn. That does the trick. <laughs> I open up the porn site and the most viewed video of the day. Number one. Is my ex-girlfriend. For 48 minutes and 36 seconds. <laughs> and I watched every second of it. And I watched it all while butt naked crying in my, in my room. Oh. What up, guys? It's Mark. Daisy. George. And we're talking about her Instagram certified ass on Living Large. Welcome into the podcast, another episode of Living Large. If you guys are watching on YouTube, make sure you guys smash the like button, hit that subscribe button. Today's guest, we've had both of you guys on the show before. Yeah. Actually in the same seat, and I think yeah. George is wearing the same outfit. <laughs> Daisy Was I wearing the same outfit? I love black. I <laughs> and George... <laughs> We probably have to cut that out. Your facial reaction <laughs> oh, was good. Anyways, so we're going to get right into things. Daisy, we've already heard about you on the podcast, but you just went viral. Yeah. What was that like to have your first viral experience? It's my second, actually. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Actually, third. Correct yourself. Okay. I had a lounge try on haul. That went pretty wild. A snow globe picture okay. of me mooning the crowd. And, oh, yeah. wow. Okay. And then I just got my butt certified. Okay. So let's talk <laughs> about this. Daisy <laughs> is the first Instagram model to get her ass certified by a real doctor to make sure it's real. Yep. Why did you do this? Um, well, I went in, as everyone knows, I got my boobs done. Oh, we're getting right. Okay, so Daisy just got a boob <laughs> job, too. <laughs> Prove it. So boobs are fake, ass is real. Exactly. <laughs> so I went in for an augmentation, and I was talking about how... Augmentation. It's a fun word to say. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, I was talking about how my followers always say it's Photoshop, or it just can't be real, like my body's not real. Like you're the Facetune queen out here, huh? Apparently. Yeah. No. <laughs> I don't Facetune her. It looks like a pimple. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, um, Dr. Gavami was just like, you know, it's a great idea. We should certify that your butt is real and prove to your followers that it's real. So it was real. actually his idea. It was his idea. Wow. <laughs> Why'd you say yes? Because I was like, why not? That's Did he just want to really touch the butt? That's a really amazing idea. <laughs> I don't think he even touched it. He kind of like was just over it. It was being... Yeah, he's, like he's using very a pen. professional. No, 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 he's yeah. very professional. You can okay, tell okay. he's not creepy at all. I, I no, looked at some of his no. videos and he was like, su he was like very careful. What he, he's good, that's he good. knows his shit. Yeah, yeah. Not like he's like he literally <laughs> knows his shit. He so we see asses. over here. <sighs> I realized it right after I said the booty it. cheeks. <laughs> so what made it go viral? Um, I just feel like because it's something that hasn't been done before, and butts are such a big thing on Instagram. Online. George knows that. No, nah, I do. I do. Know that. <laughs> it's a huge thing. <laughs> it's a huge it's hu you can make a career off of your butt looking yeah. good. Example I wish I could. A. Legit. I, I, at this point, I would not be shocked if you could write off your ass in a surgery, like write off as a business expense you, oh, because well, of the amount of money. cosmetics, yeah. Yeah. But it went. Yeah. I saw that Barstool posted it. Did, did that make it go vi viral? I think so. I think that's what got a lot of eyes on it. And do you know how they found it? Um, they've been posting me for a while. Oh, okay. So I think they have eyes on my account. Got it. So. And then Daily Mail picked it up. Yeah. So Daily Mail is from Dr. Gavami. Um, Dr. Gavami knows people at Daily Mail. And oh, okay. they wanted, they knew about his idea and they wanted to put it on there. Okay. And then once they saw that it went viral, they're like, okay, we definitely have to mm -hmm. interview this girl and like figure out what is going on. And how many followers did you gain from this so far? <laughs> Oh, um, let's see. I was at like, I think 790 something. And now I'm at 984. 200,000 followers in uh, two and days. And I got verified. And you got verified. <laughs> Not only is her ass verified, she is verified on Instagram. You know what it took for me and George to get verified? What? We had to fucking pay for it. <laughs> no, George did. Remember? Uh... Yeah, uh, yes, when I was at a younger stage, I paid for. I got scammed or something. Yeah, like that. yeah, yeah. yeah. I tried to get like a like an easy verification when I was uh, in my youth stage of social media. The guy ran for the hills. I yeah, never, uh, I never saw him again. There was this dude. He thought. He, he, yeah. This worse. guy was like telling people, he's like, yeah, I can get you verified, blah blah blah, just like, and he had gotten people verified before. People were been like, yeah, and. Yeah, took the money and ran. Didn't get verified. Yeah, I woke up one Just day. Just had to do it ourselves. I, it, was, uh, <laughs> it was, I'll never forget the first day I was. I got verified. It was really out of the blue. Like, I, I, it was no submission. It wasn't like, 
it was really out of the blue. Somebody from Instagram must have really appealed to my like my stuff. I was in the backseat of a of a car. I don't remember who was driving. I blacked out. I like literally <laughs> just refreshing my page. And then I exit out of Instagram. And you know how like you're addicted, you just go back to it right away? I literally, I'll, I'll never forget, I swiped away. And then I was like, oh, I need to check something. Clicked on it. And then when I looked at my Instagram, it had the check mark. And I literally felt my whole body flow out of <laughs> Isn't it the coolest feeling ever? Yeah. I was, I was like, like flipping why do we care so much about a blue home. check mark? Let's be honest. It's why? all about relevancy. You know what I mean? Really? Like, you're yeah. like, for instance, your friends from back home that are in co- are college right now or in high school, they don't have that verification on Instagram. Verification is just stating that so many people are trying to mimic you as a human being that we have to verify that this certain person is actually that person. So it's kind of hype. It's like, damn, there's so many people like, I don't it's know. It's like, like a flex. It's, a cool flex. A it's like being it's rich. Like being promoted. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh my god. What was your feeling? How how did it work for you? Did you just go on? You saw it, and you're like, oh my yeah, god. Yeah. So I sent in a re- um, verification request. Oh, you did a request, guys. And it. then it took like maybe three days or something, and I was like flipping back between feed and my profile, and then I saw blue, and I was like, wait, what? You and called, I called your my mom. mom. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I'm like, mom, I got verified. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I remember mine. I woke up in the morning one day, and I like I like woke up and just looked, and I'm like. Oh, what the fuck? I'm verified. I think I called George. You're the first person I called. Aw. Yeah. Cute. So what does your mom think of your boob job? She's all for it. She got one herself. Yo, oh, by okay. the way, her mom is hot. Dude. Really? Yeah. She Where'd walked in. I was like, yo, who's this? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh, I'm Daisy's mom. And I was like, yes, you are. Oh, wow. <laughs> is that like a weird thing to ask? No. No. I'm proud of it. I'm yeah. like, hell yeah, go mom. Which is dope that you got like open and honest about it. Cause I feel like a lot of people are like, oh, I don't want people to know. I kind of oh, want to ease boobs, into I it. Oh, my mom being hot. Oh, no. Yeah, you're yeah, right. That sounds like, boobs? did your mom get a boob job? Uh, too? What are we talking yeah, about? Yeah, my mom did get a boob job. Oh, then job. she'd definitely be okay with it. But yeah. I mean, mainly it was because like I saw so many other girls on Instagram who did get a boob job and I always wanted to know everything about it. Like how many CCs, what shape they got, what doctor they went to. So I wanted to be that girl who would share that with other girls because so many are curious but do you think that it sends the wrong message because you know i think it depends how you approach it like insecurity or whatever that's always the argument right like instagram is fake all this stuff yeah but for me it's like i don't really care what other people think because all that matters is how i feel about myself not how other people feel about me how do your boobs feel because i know you've been walking around the house with some like special bra (laughs) and it's like holding them in place they feel fine now thank you oh that's a special i thought you weren't like changing I was like, is this girl going to shower and no, change? No, I or? had to stay in that bra gotcha. like 24 hours a day. What's the recovery process? Because I wasn't here. I was down at Stagecoast meeting the love of my life. Uh, we'll talk I about that the second. <laughs> dude, this is the greatest thing. I know. <laughs> uh, you fell down the stairs. Yeah, she fell down the stairs, dude. Why? Yeah, Grady over, called me cracking actually, up. Actually, you might want I don't know if you want to cut out this part, but over Kylie's boxes, I tripped over her boxes and I fell on my butt. Still causing problems <laughs> even though she's gone. <laughs> oh, man. George. <laughs> Sorry, my, you're the worst. I'm just, I'm a real guy. <laughs> Anyways, let's transition over to George. What have you been up to? You just moved out. I just, guys, yeah. For those of you guys that don't know, George moved out. We're no longer roommates. Yeah. Oh my God. We're not, we're no longer roomies, bro. Isn't that crazy? You're just an acquaintance now. You're not even a I friend. know, but it feels good, to be honest. I feel like this we whole. We do more stuff. We like meet each we, other. Yeah, up. we do things, right? Yeah. We live together for a whole year and we're like, hey, you want to watch a movie? Or hey, let's go to Crave and eat food. Like, that's we all did, we did. We just did shit around the house together. And now it's like, oh, I can drive to Hollywood. Or, you know, you we can drive. We got lazy. We did. It's kind of like a, in, in, a, in a really, really straight way of me saying this. We were in a relationship. We were in a yeah. comfortable relationship. And we just didn't want to do anything. And now it's like it's exciting. Really, It's like we're just dating again, you know? Yeah. Like, it's like I have to get dressed to go out because we're not going to, I'm not going to leave the house without right. getting dressed before I just never left the house. Do you think, le- do you think us like, living together tainted our friendship at all? Because we've had nah, arguments. I, I don't think so either. I, I don't know, man. Like, real understands real. And I, I always grew up knowing that. You know what I mean? So, like, if I moved in with you and we had a problem, I think we would, we would both know. Right. You have a problem with me. I have a problem with you. Um, I feel like if we were chicks and we, like, kept everything, like, in our soul and mad. Yeah, yeah. Then, yeah. But, like, I love how, like, guys, if we bicker, we get over. And then, like, I, I don't remember any arguments we were going through. Yeah, me either. Like, I, I remember we we argued. Not a lot. We we barely argued, but if we did, I don't remember them. Only one I remember is the one the cheesecake, and that was way before we lived together. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember what ago. it was about, but I just remember how funny it was. <laughs> it was because you were, I think you were listening to some or talking about some girl in the car, or kept listening to her Instagram stories, and I was like, "Yo, turn this shit off." <laughs> 
Nah, that it was literally be over it. some stupid ass shit. Yeah, we got heated. Yeah. We almost left. <laughs> I know. But then we were like completely boys before like the bread yeah. came back. Like yeah. Cheesecake. That's well, <laughs> how men handle arguments. Yeah, we don't. I don't literally. I don't sit around and bicker. And, and also, it, I think I feel like people. It takes more energy to be angry at somebody. Right. If that makes sense. Yeah. I, I have no. I have no time for that. Like I don't like. Like even my exes. There's like no if point. I see my ex at a party, I'll go and I'll say hi to them. Like I don't. I don't really care. I'm not. I don't carry grudges. I don't think it's. I think it's pointless. It is. It really is. Don't but get bitter. You get better. Yeah. It's. I mean, we we had a. Uh, we experienced it, right? We lived yeah, together. Yeah. Now you moved out. Yeah. I gotta find a place to live. I'll be homeless soon. If you guys want to be my roommate. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't not do it again. I don't think it was like a bad experience. I think it was cool. Yeah, I think. I think, I think me it, and no, you to were, be honest, I think it would have been a lot better now because we're both yeah, single. Yeah, yeah. I because agree. I was tiptoeing around because I didn't want to cause any problems in the relationship and. Anytime you and your girl would ever get an argument, I was sucked into that shit. Yeah. So it was like, it was just feel, too much investment. It was like the situation at the time. Don't I feel like, good. honestly, dude, it's been crazy. <laughs> These past, what, four months have gone by so fast. Yeah. In my opinion, like, you're happy. I can't believe you moved out. I think, dude, this this whole month for me was like a monumental, fun fucking time because I went to uh, Coachella weekend one, Coachella weekend two, mm-hmm. stagecoach. I think we Facetimed more than any time ever. Yeah, we we're like just sharing the craziest stories. I know. I actually enjoyed stagecoach the most, and I'm not like the craziest fan of country music. I used to listen to country like four years ago, but just the environment and the people there were freaking amazing. <clears throat> And I was talking about this on George's vlog. I was literally, I was maybe had a little bit too much tequila. <laughs> and I was in this artist section and I, I called George. I'm like, bro. No, I told you today. Yes. I'm not, you're never going to believe this story. I was like, I literally like, I, I don't know what happened to me, but I was like a pussy at Stagecoach. I was like, I couldn't go talk to this girl. I, I like made eye contact with you're her. You're the opposite of Coachella. No, I couldn't. I, I was like. This was it was a weird moment. I was talking to George about it. I was like we made eye contact and we're looking at each other and it wasn't weird. You know like if you like make eye contact with too many pe- someone too many times it's fucking weird. Yeah. But it was just he was just staring at a chick the whole night basically. Yeah. And didn't say hi to her. Didn't say a word. But and it wasn't weird. Found her on Instagram. Oh, you Isn't just that cut, crazy? You just cut through all the good stuff. My man was on a hunt, <laughs> like literally on the shitter on Instagram and his bed on Instagram, <laughs> on the couch on Instagram. He was like searching for this girl. I'm like, what are you doing? He goes, bro, I, I've looked through every possible way of finding this girl and I cannot find her. And as a joke, I go, well, why don't you get your friends to help you? And he did. And he got a bunch of people to be on this hunt. And I was like, oh my God, this is like a serious thing. Damn. And then I've never uh, put this did effort you message in. Her? Yeah, n- I've never seen you put this much effort in any girl ever. Because I'm telling you, bro, it was a fucking weird moment. It's like one, it's a moment I can't describe. Like it was just like, I don't Love know. Love at first sight. Did you message her? I'm curious. So, yeah, so he found her. So my buddy found her and sent me her profile and I messaged her. She's married with kids. Married with six kids. Uh I'm just That's kidding. But joke. I'm going to adopt all of them. <laughs> I'm going to adopt all Even the husband. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, yeah, I messaged her and we just FaceTimed. And it was like cool because she found me as well. And she and we shared a story where she was like, We found each other. We found love in a hopeless place. No, we shared uh, it. <laughs> the only, th- only time I find Trisha is we find each other hungry all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But what did you do this weekend, George? You got moved into your new place. I was just place. freaking moving, dude. It was just a hassle. But uh, talk about you like being back in the city. Why do you like I being in the city? I love being back in the city. Why energy, more than man? Energy. Because I, I, you know me. I have a hard time sleeping, and I here the city doesn't really sleep that much, so I could go out and do whatever I want. But the grind, like for instance, like down the street, uh, my trainer lives there, so every day he's waking me up to go to the gym. I was like, okay, cool. So now my mornings are like exciting. They're fun. And then like the other day, I was hungry, and I go outside. There's like three hundred thousand scooters everywhere. So I just pick one up and I go to my local restaurant. My local restaurant? <laughs> Bossa Nova. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Like you could go on a bike right now and pass by n- like a hundred restaurants. It's, oh, in, in Hollywood you're yeah. saying? Yeah. There's so much to do. It's perfect time. It's summertime. There's going to be parties. And be Daisy's events. actually moving in down mm-hmm. the street too. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah. saying, dude. It's just really, uh, that's why you were, you, were tr- you were checking out apartments and you even said, you were like, yo, like the energy here is different. Because dude, yeah. like, we lived in a retirement neighborhood. You know what yeah, I mean? Like yeah. it, it was beautiful, but like everybody there's worked their whole life to live there. Yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? We didn't earn. Yes, to we li- did. 
No, bro, no, I we, fucking slept in a closet. You no, 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 no. I mean, we earned the hustle we worked, yeah. but I'm saying year wise. Like, we're not tired. We're yeah, not fatigued. Yeah. We still have a lot of energy and a right. lot of time and a lot of women to talk to. So we need to be <laughs> in the city. I think, on yeah, the energy in the city, just seeing people being around other people is like motivating. Yeah. yeah. Like, just things are happening. You, you're out and about, and you're like, wow, people are like living an active life. It's fun. Yeah. But when you're at a house, <clears throat> I mean, the Roosevelt, it's like, too cozy. The W, all these people, they're going to have like pool parties and all this cool things. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I just want to be a part of it all. I don't want to be at my house seeing people on Instagram doing it. I hate that. I want to be there. I want to be in the mix. I want to be IG storing it. Are you excited, Daisy, to live in Hollywood? I'm excited. I've. This is your first place. Your like, first you've been couch hopping. <laughs> What's it feel like to be like, not oh be homeless. God. Not be homeless. <laughs> I'm so excited. It has. I mean, I'm gonna appreciate everything that I've been through right. once I have a place. Like, I'm gonna appreciate that place so much more than I would have. George, if I what didn't. are you doing? Oh, I forgot that the cameras on me. I forgot we were just out on a podcast, <laughs> and I just look at Trisha and start making faces. <laughs> God, that's so embarrassing. Anyways, I, she Daisy. literally goes, there's Anyways. a camera there, and I just turn around like this. <laughs> so sorry to interrupt you. Continue. Anyways, so I'm really excited to finally have a place and like settle and be there for like a year. And I am excited to be around all this energy because that was a really good point. Like, I didn't know if I wanted to live in the city because I grew up in a really small town, like mm -hmm. kind of out in the country a little bit. Outside in the country. <laughs> we had horses and shit. <laughs> so the I'm horses excited in the to bank. be around all this new energy. And I feel like more motivated. To do mm -hmm. what? Because you're content, YouTube. Content, right? content, content. Yeah. What's your goal now? Because you're on a wave right now. Mm -hmm. And I told you, you need to ride this wave. Anytime I've had anything go viral, him go viral, like, gotta you ride really got to ride the wave. Can't and let the like, fire go out. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what are you what are you looking to do right now? I want to start get your own TV show. No, <laughs> um, I don't know about that. I want to start a brand. Yo, guys, I interrupt this episode to let you know that this episode is brought to you by Blinkist. They've sponsored the show many times before. Shout out to Blinkist. Thanks for coming back and keeping us going out here on the podcast. If you guys have a lot, not a lot of time on your hands to sit down and read, Blinkist is an app where you guys can get it. Basically, a full summary, all the need to know information in just 15 minutes. So you can just read it or listen to it, whatever you guys prefer. You guys know I'm really into reading right now. And Blinkist, like I said, I can read a ton of books in literally 15 minutes, get the most effective points in there. Uh, some most popular books on there, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, How to Win Friends and Influence People, The Four Hour Work Week, a lot of self-help book guys. Um, really suggest you guys check it out. I'm hooking you guys up right now with a free seven-day trial. Just go to Blinkist.com slash large to start. That's Blinkist, spelled B-L-I-N-K-I-S-T, Blinkist.com slash large for a seven-day free trial. And I want to start um, making money through that rather than just influencing. That way, I don't know. I just feel like I'm meant to be more businessy because like, I created my Instagram for business right. in the first place. So I want to go more down that path. Okay. What about yeah. you, George? What's up for you? What's next? Um... Cause we kind of, I'm coming back to lie. social media. Yeah. We, we kind of break. A, we kind of fucking sucked this year on social media. I mean, yes and no, man. We just had a lot of things on our plate. I mean, yeah. you, I mean, not taking shots. You were struggling in yeah. like your relationship. Mm -hmm. So I, and I've been there. That was my, that was my 2017, 2018. Right. Right. Um, so it takes a lot out of you this year. I was really focused on the craft. I was writing music and I was in movies and TV shows and I was really honing in on that. Um, I just need to come back into social media. I think I was bummed because when I was gone, while I was gone, they changed the algorithm. So like before I used to watch social media, people walk away, do cool movies and stuff, and they come back and nothing happened. Right. And uh, and then when I came back, it's like all my likes dropped and all mm -hmm. my views dropped. And Did that fuck you up in the head? Mentally, yeah. I was like, oh shit, you know? Because like, you know, like what happens? I worked yeah. so hard for this. Yeah. Um, but then, like, I put in, like, a good two weeks of posting skits, and then I got back to 3 million-plus <laughs> views on Instagram. So I think that's what mentally kind of helped me because I was like, okay, if I just stick to it, it's kind of like a diet or a workout. If you right, stick to it, the right. results come back, you know? Um, and so I, I have a, I, I have literally, I'm not even exaggerating when I say, like, almost 50 to 60, like, skits fully written out, ready to go. Um, I have, like, four or five songs, which you guys have already played mm -hmm. and heard. Um, I just have, I'm obsessed with like all of them. Thank you. I'm thank like you. waiting. Yeah, yeah. Same with Mark. Mark has some cool solid songs coming out. Yeah, so you do. I think we just have a lot of things underneath the cover that we're just gonna yeah, yeah. gotta let go of. I think you know what our problem is, is that we're so scared of releasing good content without that many people being able to watch it. Right. So I have all these good things, but I'm like, fuck, dude, I'm getting this amount of views. I don't wanna waste it. 
Yeah. Because there's so many times I look back on my old videos. It's like, what if I release this on the wave that she's on? You know exactly. what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, I feel like that's kind of what I'm waiting We're for. We're like waiting for the wave, but we have to start the wave. Yeah, exactly. We should get boob yeah. jobs. We, hey. Or just a Go dick job or something. Yo, we would be so famous. Dude, think about it. If we got boob jobs. <laughs> George Jaco, Mark Dodder. Double D's. Double oh down. Oh my God. But speaking of like the likes and the views, I've talked about this so many times with creators. Everybody went through like a tough 2018, I feel like, in terms of that, that kind of thing. Did you see that Instagram might be taking away the likes? What yeah. Do you, what do you mean? Like you, when you go to like someone's photo, you can like it. But it's not going to show, show how number. many people liked it. Are they still so show if you like it? So what is that going to do business wise? Well, you'll still thing. be. <laughs> I mean, you'll still have <laughs> analytics as like a creator and stuff, but other people aren't going to be able to see how many likes you got. Can you see? Yeah, you can see. Do you think that's a good thing? Yeah. This goes back to when we first moved out here. Our buddy Johnny started up a company called Shots, and it was all about and with Justin Bieber, and it was all about no bullying, right? No comments, no. Mm -hmm. Likes. I don't think you could see the number of likes on shots, right? No, no. But if you, but it's it's crazy that it's kind of come to that point. Yeah. And I think it is. I think we put so much emphasis and pressure on ourselves to get so many likes. Like, why do we care oh, yeah. about likes? Relevancy. Like, why do we care about how many people like us? I mean, that, that, that question is like, why do we care how much money we have in the bank? How? Why? Do why we do we? Because it opens up more doors. But like think about our lives wouldn't be where it is if we didn't get the many likes we did. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're right. Like, yeah, I, I don't care about social media to the point where I'm like, yo, I want to stay in social media forever. I don't. I actually, if I, I could switch my life around to be like, I could only be in huge movies and not be on social media at all completely. I think I would choose that, to be honest, and let my work be what you guys think I'll be. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. if I release music, I want them to feel me in that type of way. But like this whole Instagram thing, it's so like they know every dude. Like how many times did we bump into fans in the mall? And I, I swear to God, I couldn't tell if I've met this person before or if they were fans because they yeah. know so much about me. Yeah. That was the one thing about like vlogging. People would run up to you and be like, yo, Mark, what up? And it's like, have I met you before? Exactly. Like you don't know if they're actually yeah. fans or someone <laughs> you've met. And you're like, hey. It is awkward. Yeah. Like I, I ran into so many people at. <coughs> Coachella and stagecoach that just came running up to me like yo what up dude and I was on one so I was like what's up bro <laughs> <laughs> but oh man I got I'm like you know what's crazy bro I was sitting in my bed today and I got like, kind of shed a tear I was like fuck man I've had such a good time these past three weekends I'm so sad it's over it was fucking weird bro I've never felt that way why I, am I so emotional it's not that you're emotional bro you're just happy like I kept telling you before I was like bro like you need to get to that happy place. Like, cause when we first met, this is how you were all the time. And then you just went through a route that you needed to get out of and you got out of it. And now you're like a lot happier. And I've told you a hundred times, like, dude, me and Trisha would be sitting down watching our IG stories. I'm like, this motherfucker's having the best time of his life right now. Mm -hmm. But you got to make those opportunities keep coming. You don't have to wait about this. Like you don't have to wait for the playlist stuff. You could wait. You could like grab a bunch of friends and go on a trip right. or you could go to like pool parties or you go down to the beach. You, like people go out and have a good time. I think me and you need to focus on having fun more because we just are burying ourselves with work. All yeah. The time. You know I think mean? what I realize, I enjoy meeting new people and that's not something I've done. And I think when yeah. you get in a relationship, you kind of just you like, you know what we need to do? Mm -hmm. You go to your like, go to the strip club. No, of course <laughs> not. <laughs> Um, <laughs> no, we need to, uh, we need to go to like the beach area yeah. and go to their bars. Cause those people, people are like, really like vibey and they're like drunk. So like everybody's there just having a good time, but yeah, it's not like out here. Cause out here in the city kind of gets, gets ghetto. You gotta be, you gotta be <laughs> careful out here. Yeah. Pardon the interruption again, guys. This episode is also brought to you by Vista print. Another sponsor coming back. Damn. They must really love the episodes coming at them. Uh, you guys, I know. I've talked about it. I don't know how many times the importance and in, in like the professionalism of giving someone your business card. I had a guy come up to me the other day, gives me a business card. I put that shit in my wallet. I have it forever because you meet a lot of people and then they give you your phone number and they text you and you're like, oh crap, I don't remember who this guy is. I'm hooking you guys up. They got the best paper, the best stock. You can have your own designs or one of them uh, can professionally design it. They got uh, a lot of templates you guys can use. They use the most dope inks. 
Uh, your satisfaction is 100% guaranteed or they'll make it right either by reprinting your order or offering a re- refund. I'm hooking, hooking you guys up again. They want you to be able to own the now in any situation. This is why our listeners will get 500 high quality custom business cards starting at $9.99. Just go to vistaprint.com slash large. That's vistaprint.com slash large. Vistaprint.com slash large for 500 business cards at just $9.99. Welcome back. Where do we go? We, we read an ad. We got to pay, get paid somehow. <laughs> oh, awesome. <laughs> Let's talk about George. You went and saw the new Avengers movie. Dude, amazing. How was it? So I cried the whole movie. You know what's I crazy? I haven't seen a single. You saw it? I fell asleep, though. Oh, it was she the fell day asleep I like got this. My boobs done, she though. fell asleep like this. By my defense. Ready? Uh, people that can't see, sorry. Uh, this is it. Because she couldn't lean over. <laughs> so she's literally like this. And I was like, are you good? And she's like, oh, I'm sorry. I fell asleep. Oh, my God. So you hated the movie. You loved it. No, she's just tired. She's uh, just tired. I got my boobs done earlier that morning. I was feeling fine. I was on some pain meds. Oh, okay. oh that's so, how you were out. Yeah, yeah the movie like, was brilliant, not? bro. It was brilliant. I haven't seen a single Avengers movie. How? Those are the best movies the ever made. biggest grossing movies. <laughs> You're looking at me like, What? I know, and I also haven't seen any episodes of Game of Thrones. So, like, who am I, I, right? Wow. I mean, like, I gave up after the blood wedding or, like, the crazy wedding where, like, a bunch of shit happened, which I don't want to ruin for people. But, like, uh, after that, it it messed me up, dude. Like, that that TV show messed me up. Like, for, like, two days, every time I took a shower, I was, like, (laughs) in deep thought. Like, they make you love the characters, and they just get rid of them like it's nothing. Like legit, it's like watching Friends, and all of a sudden they kill Monica. And you're like, <laughs> "What the fuck? <laughs> like, what the fuck? How are you just gonna kill that person?" Literally in the shower, I was, <laughs> dude, I was mourning. I was talking to somebody in real life at Trader Joe's, and I remember that that character died, and I literally just got quiet. Like I'm mourning my friend. I was like, "Dog, I can't believe they just killed him off like that. It's bullshit." That's hilarious. But the Avengers. Yo, yo, I got so hyped on just ta- thinking about it. My watch told me to breathe. <laughs> like just thinking about the character dying again, it got me all emotional. Well, oh, how was the Avengers? Talk about the Avengers. The Avengers. Was Why is it so good? And why do people? So I don't really like superhero. Oh, well, think movies. about it. When that movie, when the first Iron Man came out, I was like 15, 16 years old. So we we're talking about 10 years of like watching these characters develop. So. I'm watching my childhood grow up. You know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm watching this shit happen, and everything's coming to an end. So it's like, it's really hard. Oh, this was the last one. Yeah, it's the last one with ever. Me. Ever. Why? With the main the characters. People, yeah, they're probably gonna move on to other ones, but this. I mean, dude, they're getting old. Like they can't be fighting crime in their eighties. Doesn't Robert Downey Jr. have like a very huge back end in these movies? Yeah, he's filthy rich, bro. Filthy, filthy. rich. He's probably gonna make over a hundred million dollars off of this movie alone. Easy. And it wasn't it because when he started to film them first, he took a lower pay cut for like back end points and smart. That's what I heard. He's and a genius. Look, look how big this. I heard. Was. I don't know if this is true at all, but I heard this. So don't quote me on this. But I heard when he walked into the audition room for Iron Man, he did it the exact way that they wanted him to do it. And when he walked out, he turned around and goes, "Honestly, fuck that one." He's like, "I don't like the way. That's it. Can I redo it?" And they're like, yeah, okay, but you did a good job. And he did it exactly like how they watch it in Iron Man. And they fell in love with him immediately. They're like, this is him. But, dude, who could you picture being Iron Man besides Robert Downey Jr.? I can't picture anybody on the planet, like, pulling it off. They made Thor really funny in this movie. They made the Hulk really funny. Like, and the best part is they kept having flashbacks of the old movies, but, like, showing more of that scene that you've never seen before. So you're just sitting there crying, dude. Like Jesus. This what movie's... was that one we watched? The really funny superhero movie. Shazam. That shit was hilarious. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. Did you yeah. see it? I feel like. See, how do you idea, like Shazam and not like Avengers? Do they have comedy in Avengers? Yeah, of course. Would I, I, what, is it comparable to Shazam? No, not even a little bit. Shazam like not as funny. Shazam can't compare to the Avengers, bro. What are you talking about? Do you think Shazam is doing 1.3 billion in the box office? But it was funny. It was hilarious, but it's not that eventually. You know what movie I saw? It's not out yet. When when does it come out? It comes out in three days. It's called Long Shot. Seth Rogen's movie? Yeah. Is it good? So funny. If you guys can go see it May 3rd, it comes out. Uh, And that's not even being paid for him to say that. Yeah. Funniest movie I have seen, I think, ever. What's it about? I was just dying of laughter. What's the movie about? It's basically Seth Rogen, and he's a writer, and he is working for a girl he used to love in high school, 
and she's like the senator, a senator, and she's trying to run for president. And he's like her writer and writes her speeches and stuff. And then they start to develop a little chemistry. So funny. Um, I was watching a Seth. R- you know how you know he's a genius. Is I'm watching something completely raunchy. Like I'm I'm watching. Uh, Zach in something or whatever make a porno. Have you seen this? <laughs> what? Yeah, he's like mix. He's like mixing Zach and the Sweet Life of Zach and Cody. No, what is it with called? like? What's it called? <laughs> Mary, Miri, Zach, Zach and, and Miri, Miri make a porno? make a porno, and it's literally about two friends that like are low on cash and they're about to fuck on camera to make money for rent. <laughs> Sounds and like I'm, your ex. And I'm sitting like. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> not, my, not like the it reason. It is my action. Yeah, it is old. Can we tell that story? Did we ever? We did, we tell, did tell that story. We told it on. We told I, it on Logan's podcast. Daisy, you haven't heard we've it. We talked no. about it on this podcast too. No, we haven't. We talked about it on Logan. We'll, we'll tell that after. Um, and so I'm watching this happen. I'm like, this is the stupidest thing I've ever watched. But for some reason, the writing is so brilliant that you're like rooting for them and also falling in love with them. And then they start making love on camera and you're just like all heart warm. I'm like, yo, they're making a porno right now. <laughs> and I'm over here being like, oh, so cute. I feel like you just draw these attachments to movies. You're crying during the Avengers. You're yeah, crying yeah, yeah. at Game I, of Thrones. Dude. You're crying at Zack and Cody make a porno. Bro. <laughs> I, I'm telling you right now, my empathy like level is way too high. Like yeah. way, way. George is the way most too romantic person I think. No, I'm, I'm just a sensitive guy. I hide it over my masculinity of jaw. Mas- <laughs> I said that wrong. Masculinity. Right, Shut up, Trish. I can hear you laughing through <laughs> soundproof windows. You asshole. <laughs> yeah. So I'm. I yeah. I'm very sensitive. I'm like my dad. My dad. So let's very talk sensitive. about a sensitive moment. <laughs> the, the, the moment you That's such a up, long story I'll, We'll, we'll skim through it Homie dated this girl Love of his life Broke up with him <laughs> I bro- She broke up with me And uh, But it was like In a crazy way Like Like ghost up, Yeah like One day she like Sat me down uh, Well it was How via FaceTime a y- Almost a year Like it was like 10 months And, and a half But and I was she like, goes But we hung out But we hung out Every single day Like every Every single day But then I moved out here And uh she, we were FaceTiming every night while we went to bed, and I woke up one day. She's like fully dressed. I was like, "What the fuck?" But so you fell like, asleep on FaceTime, right? Every night, yeah, every night we fell so asleep. So fucking fa- weird. How yeah, we were that? weird, bro. We were young, <laughs> and so, uh, so I wake up and I look at her, and I was like, "It was good." She's like, "I can't do this anymore," and I go, "What?" She's like, "I can't sit here," and she like wipes her tear and she goes, "I love you, goodbye," and she like hangs up on me, and I was like, "What the fuck is wrong with this girl?" So I was like, "Whatever, I'm gonna shower." And uh, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna call the psychopath and, <laughs> see, and see what happens. I call her back and uh, it's like, this number is no longer in service. And I was like, what? what? Yeah. So I was like, that's weird. Verizon's tripping. So I called him <laughs> again. He's like, this number is not in service. And I was like, yo, what the hell is going on? And I was like, oh my God, she like changed her number. So I was like, this is serious. So then I tried to go to her Instagram and her Instagram was completely deleted. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? What? So immediately I called my dad, immediately start crying my eyes out. And my dad's like, just don't worry, just come on a plane and come talk to her. I go there, and her whole entire house is packed up and left. Like, she doesn't live at her house that she lived. And I was like, oh, my God, this girl's gone. Damn. For the rest of my life, I don't know if I'm ever going to see this girl again. Mind you, this is the girl that the night before, I was like, I love you. And she's like, I love you, too. So it was like, it wasn't like we were arguing or anything. So I go back to Arizona and do the normal breakup routine, break everything in my house. And uh, so... A year later, a one full year later, I, I still can't get over. I haven't slept with another girl. I haven't moved on. And I'm dating this wildly beautiful girl. And I'm like, you know what? Tonight's the night. I'm going to move on. I'm going to sleep with this girl. <laughs> and I'm kissing her. And a car light reflects off of something onto her face. And I was like, oh, my God, this looks just like my ex. So like broke my heart. Boner kill. <laughs> <laughs> and so I was like, I, I'm just going to go home. I was like, I told her my stomach was hurting. So I go home. And uh, I kind of get excited again. I was like, I was watching Friends. I was like feeling in a happy place. I was like, you know what? I'm going to have sex with this girl. So I call her up and nobody answers. And I was like, damn it. So I was like, yeah, whatever. I'll watch porn. That does the trick. <laughs> I open up the porn site and the most viewed video of the day. Number one. Is my ex-girlfriend for 48 minutes and 36 seconds. <laughs> And I watched every second of it. And I watched it all 
while butt naked crying in my in my Aww. room. And I literally was like, she looked like she's been on a lot of drugs and she looked like she oh, had a fucked no. up life. And so I broke everything in my What's house again. Timeline, you broke everything in your house? I broke everything in my I think I broke my laptop. Yeah, I broke my laptop. I broke everything. After? Yeah, a whole year la- later. And then I sent it to all my friends. Why and, why a year later were you so down still? I was in love with her, dude. You I took, wanted to marry her. It took a long time for you to get over her. Yeah, yeah. I've only said <laughs> I love you to like two girls my whole life. My mom and her. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. No, her and uh, Shelly, my ex. You say I love you to me. You say I love you to Trisha. You throw it around like well, it's no, no, the no, no. The. I'm sorry, let me correct myself. And I mean it. This is uh, the only two girls <laughs> I mean. <laughs> uh, Trisha's dying. Yeah, no. So these are the two girls that I've, I've actually like been in love with. Where I was like, oh, this shit, I love you. Um, but yeah, I sent it. To, I sent the link to all my friends. I don't know why I was spaced. You know, like when something fucked up happens to you, and you're like just delusional. I sent it to everybody, and Damn. I call my dad, and I go, "Dad, this happened." He goes, "No way." So I'm gonna I, call you back. No, <laughs> all my friends fucking jacked off to it. You did too, you asshole. No, I did not. Well, somebody did. They all laughed at me, <laughs> and then uh, I call my dad, and my dad's like, "It's okay, son. It'll get better. Don't worry. This is crazy." I can't believe it was on that one site you what you said. What was that site again? I was like, I'm not telling you the site. I'm not fucking. Like, hey, you, you got any crazy like, stories with exes or anything? No, she's my ex. That's the girl who did it. I was kidding. That's me. Do you have any funny stories, any crazy stories, any heartbreaking stories? What's the craziest thing that's ever happened to you okay. in life? Talk to um, me. I would say. Talking the to the way, mic, please. Sorry. The way I got broken up with by my first boyfriend. Uh, like oh, I God. was in love with this boy. Eighth, gra- eighth grade? It was second grade. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> No. He wrote me a note and had my friend it bring it to me. junior year of high school. Okay, okay. And he the was like, ignoring me for a little bit, like, wouldn't want to hang out. I'm like, okay, what's up? Like, do you want to hang out tonight? Like, what's going on? Mm-hmm. So, but he's tripping now. <laughs> now you got the most certified ass now on that Instagram. Now I'm verified. <laughs> I mean. Well, he can't hear you. There yeah. you go. <laughs> now that I verified. <laughs> um, he was like, okay, I'm outside. Come outside. I have a surprise for you. So I'm like Stop. doing my oh hair, my doing my makeup, like putting on extra blush, like so excited to see him. Stop. And literally he was talking to me and my heart stopped. I couldn't hear anything but his voice. So it was like tunnel vision. He's like, you know, I just really don't think it's going to work out. I don't think we're but alike enough. But he said enough. you have a surprise for you? Yep. And I was like, okay, surprise, bitch. Like, wow. He literally said, come outside. I have a surprise. Yep. What? That's crazy. What'd yeah. you do? I, I, I think the best breakup I was I've like, ever seen. Really? <laughs> really? You slap him? <laughs> no. There's no way. Oh my God. Did you cry? <clears throat> oh yeah. Afterwards. Oh What's God. it like, like to be like a girl and get broken up with? Because I'm I, I, I gotta try to be like a little, you know, a man about it. Well, do I girls used get to really be a- like a hopeless romantic. I'm not really anymore because mm-hmm. of everything that's happened. Mm-hmm. I still believe in love and all, but it, you know, it's a little different. <laughs> Fucking, we live with you, you liar. No, no, I swear, like, I'm, but compared to what I was before. Okay. Oh, so you were a you stalker know, before, now you're just a romantic. <laughs> no, but, like, it sucked, like, I didn't. I love how George keeps looking over. Because her friend's dying of laughing. To see Trisha it. laughing. She's like, do you like that joke? Do you like that joke? All right, cool. Okay, anyways, I didn't eat for, like, two weeks, so it sucked. Um, I couldn't work out, but. After about two weeks, I was like, you know what? I'm going to get my revenge you know, body. This, this is what happens to every girl when they you get broken Trisha? up. Trisha? They don't eat. Trisha, like, till when this I'm day, goes, I got to get back to that body. I go, Trisha, you're mentally depressed. That's not a healthy state. <laughs> yeah. Why don't girls eat when they get broken up with? I don't know. Wouldn't that be the you, first thing you would so want to? Because their stomach is full of guilt. <laughs> no. Because uh. you're sad. Yeah. yeah. I'm the exact you opposite. Know? I eat the fuck out of my feelings, man. Yeah, I eat when I have anxiety when people yell at me. Like when, sometimes my dad would yell at me when I was younger. I go straight to the fridge and like open up and like shove my face. When I got broken, it's better up than with what my ex girlfriend did. Yeah. What'd your ex girlfriend do? Eat dick. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm laughing about it now, but I'm dead inside. <laughs> it's actually my life. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I think for a couple days I I ate like shitty food and and ice cream. I was like, hell yeah. (laughs) Had a couple of drinks and I was like, all right, I can't do this. I got to change my life. Yeah, you you did the one. Success is the best revenge. Yeah, but it wasn't even about that. It was more of like, fuck, I really lost myself. Yeah, and I had what I had like what? Why, why did Trisha laugh so hard at that? I heard it through soundproof window. You're like, I lost myself, and all here's ha ha ha. Yeah, <laughs> tell me how you really feel, Trisha. I wish asshole. I had like a, a an audience uh, camera. Do we do? 
and like um, oh, oh, laugh so track, like a sitcom yeah. or something. You should add that. That's something you should add. Yeah. Because you're obviously funny. People are actually laughing. You I'm glad. I, yeah. I mean, when me and George have our stories, that's why I love this podcast. We literally talk about anything. Yeah. And they're so long. People probably aren't even listening right now. Yeah. <laughs> if you're listening, comment down below <laughs> that I'm still listening. <laughs> oh, shit. <clears throat> All right. Well, I think that comes to an end. That was a good episode. I'm glad you got verified. I'm glad you got you. your Instagram butt verified. You should have an account just for your butt. Create a second account called Daisy's Butt. No, it's just Daisy. I, it's I think it's okay. Okay. <laughs> you guys can follow Daisy. You guys can follow George. George just moved out. He's posting vlogs again. I'm posting vlogs again very, very soon. Actually, this weekend about my stagecoach experience. Make sure you guys drop a like. Rate us five stars in the App Store. Sorry, I burped. I burped again. Rude. And we'll see you guys next week. Deuces. Oh,